Folks out there in the business world, everybody it seems these days, everybody is in competition to put together the best team they can. Bring in the best people to support their team for whatever reason it may be. You never know what it's going to take to get people in, but I'll let you in on a secret. What a lot of people are looking for are really good benefits. So if you have a great benefit program to offer, it can give you a leg up on your competition when you're putting the team together. And chances are you can't do it by yourself. You need to bring in a professional, and that's where we are today on All In with Brian Weatherford. We have an employee benefit pro right here. The company is Holloway Benefit Concepts. Can't have a company named Holloway without a man named Holloway. Here he is here, Ryan Holloway, our guest on All In. How are you, Ryan? I'm very well. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you so much for being here. Now, I, I, was, I was doing my due diligence, reading all the background stuff. One thing popped out first and foremost for me. I'm going to recognize you now. No embarrassment, just simple admiration and sincere respect. You are a Marine veteran. Thank you for your service, sir. Absolutely. That's a big deal to us here on the show. Thank we you. appreciate that. Appreciate that. So you got out of the Marines, and at some point you decided to get into the human resources benefit division i did what's that segue well um it was the early 2000s and the job market wasn't great right and i took the first thing that was thrown my way which happened to be a job in hr okay and so that's that's where it all started i did have a a bit of a background in um recruiting in hr while i was in the mm -hmm. marines my last duty station was at a recruiting station, so okay. fortunately that helped me transition a little bit. Well, I was going to say, because a lot of times that transition from, from uh, military life to civilian life is a little uh, uh, arduous, shall we say, for yes, some. It but it seems be. to work for you because it is the early 2000s. We're not quite so early anymore, and you're still rocking and rolling doing what you do. Yes, sir. So talk to me about employee benefits, because it's the type of thing where people think they know what it is, but there's some things that people offer as benefits that you'd never think of. Correct. Um, so especially in the small group market, we focus really on the small and mid-sized segment, uh, mainly because, in my opinion, that it's an underserved market. Hmm. Um, as we all know, there's more small and mid-sized companies than anything else out yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. And, but there tends to not be a lot of people willing to help them or hmm. helping them very well. Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. It doesn't. It, because there's, there's more of those than there are the big boys. You think but everybody just jumps here immediately and leaves these guys scrambling? Yes, unfortunately, a lot of the big agencies, they, they want to chase the big companies because sure. it's all about revenue. Right. Um, but, you know, we are a small business. I play in this space. I don't have a ton of overhead, so I can work in this space and, and make a good living. Well, and and you understand that space. Correct. Because you 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 don't just serve the space, you live in the space. Exactly. People have to relate to you. You're a relatable guy. Yes. I would think so. Uh, so when, when you're working with someone, the, the number that gets me, and I tease it here just a little bit, I was shocked because I've heard this before, mm -hmm. of how few people can comprise a group to get stuff. What is that number? It's actually two. Two. And, and I'll, surprise, I'll go one deeper. Um, you can actually have two employees, but you only have to have one sign up to get a group plan. <laughs> and it, you know, we, we work with a lot of startups. A lot of agencies won't touch them, but sure. a lot of times that's where you start. You know, if it's a ma and pa type business and they're just getting started, they probably want to get something in place so they can go out and recruit. And so, you know, a lot of times you're starting with the two founders and you go from there. And you go from there. Well, when, when you're putting together a benefit package, where does it all start? I mean, it's going to vary, but give, give me some options. The So in, in small group, there's, you know, it ultimately, you know, we, we act as a consulting firm. We let the client tell us where they want to go or if they don't really know we help them navigate sure. but in small group there's two markets sometimes three depending on the industry but with small group you have the market that the affordable care act created mm -hmm. which um it it created a, a a system where everyone's treated the same from a pricing standpoint which sounds good on paper but you know there's winners and losers mm -hmm. um, the healthier groups in that space tend to pay more Groups that drive a lot of claims that maybe aren't so healthy, they can get a better deal there. That tends to be the That's, market. That, that seems that, odd. It does. <laughs> um, so since 2014, that market has existed. Um, you still have the market that's always been out there, which what most is what most people think of when it comes to insurance. Your pricing is based on expected claims, expected right. risk. Sure. Um, takes a little more work in that space because typically for smaller groups, um, you have to do health questionnaires and be reviewed by an underwriter, just like when you're getting a life insurance policy. Um, and 
I would say 90% of the people out there, when we run into them for the first time, they don't know that market still exists. So they're all buying from this what can be overpriced ACA market, not realizing that especially for the healthier ones or if they have a, an employee base of a bunch of younger people right. that tend not to go to the doctor, insurance companies love that. Because it's premium, but they're not paying out claims. Well, and, but, but back to the, to, to, we talk about this all the time, Ryan. When people start their businesses, the, the, there's all this stuff that comes at them that, that they don't know, but they don't need to know about it. They need right. to bring in pros like you. And if they right. don't know about it, they're going to end up spending a lot more money right. than they have to. Correct. That's where you step in. A, right. Another misconception that the small businesses have is that they have to have an HR department, or at least a dedicated HR person to right. handle this stuff. That's not necessarily the case either, is it? No. Um, I will tell you, Probably 95% of our clients don't have an mm -hmm. HR person. But you guys have plenty to help out. We do. Our, my entire staff, besides myself, is service. Um, we have an HR professional on staff. We have a project manager. and We have an account manager. Um, with most of our clients not having HR people, um, someone hires a new employee or someone lets, is let go, they let us know. We do all the processing with the insurance companies on our side. So you're, you actually become a department within a department to help yes, these sir. guys we, out. We want to be an extension of our clients. That's huge. Yeah. That's huge because it allows the little guy to play like a big guy exactly. in a lot of ways. Yeah. And, and to that point, it allows these smaller businesses to maybe create a little more complicated program, knowing that they don't have to deal with all the legwork because mm -hmm. we're there to do that. It helps them compete, helps them recruit. Well, it, and that's what we were talking about at the beginning because yeah. it is a competitive work market. Yeah. Now, I, I've got to think, now you're in the business. I want to hear mm -hmm. your, your thoughts as well. But with the whole COVID situation, there's mm -hmm. about to be a lot of turnover as businesses yes. continue to reopen. Uh, some people aren't coming back on their own. Right. Uh, other people are looking for the next position. Do you, right. see, uh, do you see the competition for workforce shooting up the window and benefits will be a big part of that? I do. We've yeah. actually, um, we had a really big big August, which August is traditionally not a real busy month in our space. Okay. Um, but we, ha we, we onboarded a good number of clients, several for that exact reason. Um, there's a lot of startups. You know, a lot of people have been laid off. Didn't even think of that. Yeah. Started their own business. So, yeah. you know, they don't have a paycheck coming in. What a, a lot of, you know, someone who's entrepreneurial minded, they're going to start their own thing. Sure. And so, you know, I talked to someone today out of Austin starting a company. They've got offer letters out. They need benefits. So we're starting on that process. You know, I, I didn't go into that, Ryan. I apologize. Where, where are you located? Where's your business We're based? in downtown Dallas. Okay. But we serve clients throughout the state. Throughout the state of yeah. Texas. Uh, just all in Texas. I'm guessing if you go across borders, there's a whole new set of regulations for every state, right? This is correct. Um, every state has its own licensing department. We are licensed in a number of states, but... Um, I'll be very honest with someone. I know the Texas market. Mm -hmm. I don't know the Arkansas market, so I prefer to work in my backyard where I know it and know it well. Well, I'll let you in on a secret. Texas is a pretty big market. There's, there's <laughs> The Metroplex is a pretty big the market. The Metroplex yeah. is pretty big yes, as there's, well. There's a ton of opportunity. When you start talking Houston, San Antonio, Austin, mm -hmm. there's, there's plenty of business here. What, what is the best way for you to go out and get new business for your company? Um, you know, things like this, just getting out, spreading the word. Um, we get a lot of referrals from clients. Mm -hmm. um, we actually do a lot of video on social media, so that keeps us pretty high on Google. That helps quite a bit. Absolutely, um, it does. Actually, we're, if things go, all go well this week, we'll be making an offer for my first salesperson, so I'm excited about well, that. Well, good for you. Yeah. So, so you're expanding. We are. So, so now you'll have enough enough people to qualify for uh, benefits. We've no, got, I'm, I'm joking. We've got a very robust <laughs> benefits program, believe me. Well, as a wise man once told me once, you only need two. This is true. <laughs> and yeah. you, you can get that done. Yes, got sir. about a minute left. Anything else you want to throw at us out there that we need to know that we didn't discuss? Um, you know, the one other market for small groups that I'll mention is there, there are a number of industry-specific associations out there okay. that have um, benefits available to them, and they're and they're not as widely known, or a lot of people tend not to talk about those, but that can be a great deal, too, okay. for someone with one of those industries that's sponsored. Um, we have a number of clients that we've sent that direction, and it, that's, it, it's just the best deal for them. All right, guys, it's Ryan Holloway, a company named after himself, Holloway Benefit Concepts. A lot of great information there, not the least of which you only need two employees, and only one of them needs to sign up in a lot of instances. <laughs> but if you have any questions about what you need or how you can get it, this is the guy to talk to. Ryan, thanks for coming on board with us today. We appreciate that. You take care. Thank you so Folks, much. Folks, you take care as well, and we'll be right back here in just a little bit with a little bit more. All right. <laughs>